Hello YouTube! Welcome back to the second tutorial, well welcome to the second tutorial of the options menu, stu uh, menu for Game Maker Studio. Um, again this is using my DUI engine if you want to look how to set it up and the pre uh, look at the previous tutorial. You, like I said you only need to call DUI init before you go to use one of the inputs, it's like a password or input. Those two are the only ones that require GUI init. Um, checkbox but and buttons do not require it. But in the last tutorial, I did not have a checkbox, so I went ahead and coded in a quick checkbox for this tutorial. Alright, and I will post a download link to this version of the engine inside uh, the description. So look in the description for the link. So anyways, to get, let's get back to the main point of actually coding in a checkbox. In this tutorial, I'm showing how to code, code the checkbox in. In the next tutorial, I'll show, show you how to put everything together to make a decent options menu. So, for my t let's start off with a checkbox sprite. This is all I have for the checkbox check sprite, which is two images, one for enabled, which is image one, and one for disabled, which is image zero. So go, go, let's go ahead and click OK, and I'm going to show you an example of how it looks whenever it's coded into the game. So I'm going to go ahead and really quickly compile the game so you can take a look. Now as you can see, the first one is enabled, which is variable one, the second one is disabled, which is variable two, and that's the default values, I'll show you how to set that as well in a moment. But as you can see, you can click them and toggle them on and off, and nothing breaks. Okay, now let's open up the button. Okay, now go uh, go to the create event, and this approach all it did was create two uh, two boolean variables, uh, one called variable one and one called variable two. This is uh, this is actually the default value of the variable, so you just create that and done. Now that's pretty much as easy as that for setting up the variables. Second, let's go and look at the draw code for it. So I'm gonna show you an example of how it looks. I'm gonna show you actually how to code it in. Okay, now. As you can see, variable one is equal to a uh, GUI draw checkbox, which pretty much returns a true or false value when not players click the button. Um, and then pretty much at the end is pretty much where you'll be able to set the value. So make sure you set that to the variable you're currently using. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, pretty much you uh, put the X, Y, sprite, image enabled, image and image disabled. So now let me go and show you how to actually set one up to actually do it. Again, looking at the last tutorial for setting up the GUI engine is very, very easy. Now you don't have to use it for this though. You don't have to. Okay, so anyways, back to the point. First, let's go ahead and create another variable. Call it underscore um, my option one. T I O N. Is equal to true or false. Default value. It doesn't matter. Let's, ma let's make my default set to true. All right. So then, go back to your draw event and do your variable name is equal to GUI draw checkbox. Then put the X and Y coordinates you want to draw it at. This only works in the GUI event. Keep that in mind. It will not work in or only works in the draw event, not the draw GUI. If you put this in the draw GUI event, it will break. The whole entire engine is designed to work with the draw event. Okay. Now put the X and Y that we want to draw the uh, the sprite at. Uh, so Y, let's say 85, which is directly below the other two. Then we put our sprite, SPR, checkbox, put the image enabled and image disabled, which is 1 and 0. So image 1 would be whenever it's checkmarked, image 0 is when it's uh, not checkmarked. Then we put the value you want, where you want it to be displayed as, which is pretty much my option 1, which is pretty much your variable. Okay, so now, let me go ahead and save this, and let's test this out so you see how it looks. Okay, so... Now, as you see, we now have a third check a a checkbox, and we can uh, quickly check mark it and not uncheck mark it. As easy as that. Alright, guys. In the next tutorial, I will be showing you how to set everything up to work with a options menu. Alright, guys. Don't forget to rate, uh, rate, comment, and subscribe, and see you in part three. Adios.